rundown to the winter session has begun. Joining me now is leader of Tinumul Congress, Derek O'Brien, member of the Rajya Sabha. Derek, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. We've been speaking with a whole host of leaders from different political parties. We just finished speaking with Congress leader uh, Peter Damram about the sense that you get on whether this session is likely to be less of a washout in comparison to the previous session. Uh, all parties have met ahead of the session kicking off tomorrow. What is the sense that you get? I can only tell you first about the Trinamool view. The Trinamool view is very, very clear. Uh, deliberate, debate, let's legislate, and only in the extreme case, agitate. Mm. So we want the session to run smoothly. One thing is absolutely certain. Uh, the first two days, Thursday and Friday, uh, there will be this uh, debate. We are li really looking forward to 11 hours to debate the Constitution and Dr. Ambedkar's 125th. So that's going to go well. We made a suggestion mm. that at the end of the two days, there were some parties who suggested there should be legislation linked to that. Mm. Our suggestion was that we should pass a resolution. Mm. I think we said that and Congress said that. There should be a resolution. I think the government is on board. So we pass a resolution, uh, you know, um, literally praising the Constitution and glorifying mm. Dr. Ambedkar. Mm. So that will happen in the first two days. Mm. From Monday, you know, this is a 20-day parliament session. Yeah. So, and I love cricket. So this is uh, like a T20 day. Yeah. First two days, no rain, 100% there will be play. Uh. But to this question, you really have to put, we put our cards on the table. Because mm. I told you at Trinamool, what you see is what you get. So we want to put the government on the back foot. Mm. They have some serious answering to do on federalism, on the way they are steamrolling the states, on the, in the issue of unity and diversity and tolerance and everyone shooting their mouths off, mm. on the way they are handling the planning commission or the way they dismantle so many issues. So I think this is a great chance to put the BJP, who have been decimated in Bihar, they've done very, very badly in uh, Delhi before that, they're going to do terribly in Bengal. Mm. So in this session, we should use all the words all the facts, all the research, all the data at our command uh -huh. to flatten them out. Okay, there are several claims that you are making. Let me pick up on each one of them in just a bit. But let me no first claims. ask you, let me first ask you about the GST no bill. Because you're, which you're, 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 you were a member of the parliamentary panel. No, but which claim I made I'll, I'll come to the claims in just a bit. But a quick word on the GST. Hmm. Do you see the GST bill going through in this session or not? You know, in a light-hearted way, I was telling a few of my colleagues hmm. today, we were talking about uh, GST, Shreen, Ban, Bill, <laughs> because every time you ask me 10 questions, 3 are GST. Again, our, our position on GST is only one party uh. out of all has actually got up on the floor of parliament and said, bring the bill now, we mm. will pass it. 18%? Mm. Please hear me out. Uh. Please hear me out. The problem here is, you folks, you all have a certain perception about the regional mm. parties, but all the mess is always created between the Congress and the I'm BJP. I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm so saying we, as a member we, of the parliamentary panel today, yes. do you feel more confident of the GST bill going through? Parliamentary panel recommendations were on board. Exactly. Now the Congress party have some issues. Mm. Again, it's back to the Congress and the BJP. So let me ask you a specific question. 18% is what the no. government is looking at. Do you believe that there should be a, an 18% rate is good enough to ensure the passage of the bill? See, it's not about ensuring. There's a, there's a bigger issue. Do you put that figure in the, in the constitutional so this is this is an issue. Hmm. If you start putting those figures and all in the issue, you are asking me questions where Mr. Jaitley has to find the answers. Hmm. We have said what we have to say. Okay. Now tomorrow in the government hmm. hypothetically comes and says this one percent. No, we take it back. Hmm. Obviously, we will have an issue. But these what what we already agreed upon, hmm. keeping certain items out, giving us five years top up our compensation. So these issues cannot be opened up again. That's open, that's closed. Okay. Now it's between the BJP and the Congress. Uh, if they one keep percent, playing these games. If one, one minute. Uh, they keep playing these games. The Congress did the same thing when they were in power. The BJP are doing the same. And you people will always say the regional... I'm, I'm, the saying, I'm saying nothing of the sort. I'm not calling you disruptive, uh, Derek. But let me talk to you about uh, an issue that you have said that you will raise or the Srinivas will raise in Parliament. Uh, you call it the BJP's cultural jihad and intolerance fatwa and you believe that this is going to be an issue that you are going to raise in parliament. Isn't this a bit of an exaggeration, uh, an intolerance fatwa and a, and a jihad, cultural See, jihad? Let's not get into the semantics because hmm. you could use... But you're semantics. saying that. You're yeah, saying yeah, that. I use the words, there's nothing wrong in the words hmm. I used. I think there's an overall feeling 
you know there is an overall feeling now and this is not only a feeling it has got this is not only a feeling in latians delhi hmm. or on a couple of your television hmm. channels this feeling has now got reflected in the bihar election result hmm. when the president of the bharatiya janata party starts bringing pakistan into the debate and having diwali this is dangerous it didn't work the people of bihar gave a fitting reply mm. so now i think the arrogance the bjp they haven't they've lost their way mm. but they haven't lost their arrogance mm. so now they've got to get some strong messages externally internally also there are some messages mm. that they have to work out on their own mm. and they have to come up with a solution and they have to uh i would say come down a couple of notches uh. their arrogance in governance their arrogance in the states why did the prime minister have to call up the chief secretary of bengal for a conversation uh. why why can't the prime minister call up the chief minister and the other thing which the bjp now i think they have got understanding they have been elected for the center 282 seats very good mm. good majority mm. there are other states also who been elected with a full majority mm. what i have no problem if chennai if tamil nadu gets their couple of hundred crores for mm. uh, for their cyclone mm. and uh, it's very sad that it happened but i have a problem good they got their money mm. but i have a problem that bengal hasn't got their money mm. you know so these are the issues i have a problem with those with those schemes if you remember i was talking to you whether the budget you were giving me the 62 paisa over the thing and 38 mm. if you look at the fine print mm. there are more than 30 schemes which have been tampered with pray may i ask you mm. shreen what is the swachh bharat 2% mm. what is the swachh bharat no, it's not even 2% na 0.5% on service tax it goes to 14.5% is this something that you're going to raise no no please understand look at look at the cleanliness angle and look at how how good governance is working in bengal out of the top 4 districts in the country mm. top 4 districts in the country three of those districts are from bengal the cleanest most toilet most healthy district in the country is nodia district mm. you know you can call it with fancy names you can make a lot of hoopla but on the ground it's not happening for the bjp mm. okay you are saying that the government has not lost its arrogance but it's lost its way but i want to pursue nice the line actually uh, well it's yours not mine but i want to pursue the line of questioning as far as your claims on this intolerance fatwa mm. uh, you know some of the accused the tinumul congress and your chief minister of the same whether it's the it's the left in in uh, bengal saying that mamta banerji uh, it's or that or ironical that she talks about intolerance when she's politically intolerant herself i remember uh, this was i think it 2012 or 2013 when justice kadju had accused mamta mm. banerji of being intolerant dictatorial and whimsical so uh, doesn't it seem a bit rich to continue this conversation about jihad mm. about fatwa and so on and so forth two parts to your question one you asked me about the left the left you don't want to react to somebody a party which has become politically irrelevant in bengal mm. there are one or two left leaders here who are hanging around in delhi giving very nice sound bites but uh, they are irrelevant in bengal so by that logic they are pretty much irrelevant mm. in in the national and i am not saying this because we made them irrelevant the people of bengal made them irrelevant mm. for what they didn't do for 34 years but on the second issue which is a very good question you ask about this intolerance if you are saying these issues of intolerance i don't think they were there mm. what about what is the benchmark at the end mm. the end is the people have to vote you in yeah 2012 please look at the 2014 lok sabha results mm. in the modi way mamta banerjee's trinamool won 34 seats in parliament if you extrapolate that over 296 mm. we were 200 216 seats ahead one minute at the municipal elections in 2015 kolkata municipalities mm. urban and rural we've cleaned out we've done very very well mm. so eventually mm. you can say tolerance intolerance you have to bow your head to the verdict of what people say hmm. mamta di is clearly way ahead in bengal and these the cpm accusing no, no, her of no, no, being intolerant no, no, because of a television show yeah but, but calling uh, a student a mao and right, for asking looking, a question you are looking at an incident you are looking at a stray incident yeah so, so you are looking at no, incident no, no, for the bjp as incident. well we are not looking at incidents yeah listen which party was the only party which raised the uh, the beef issue in parliament mm. not the congress mm. not the left not anybody else only one party the uh, mamta di trinamool please understand shireen this is this is the absolutely crucial point you cannot tell me what i should eat mm. what i should wear what i should say 
you know these things you know i mean i have grown up in a completely hindu neighborhood in kolkata a christian family and that neighborhood the street is named after a muslim mm. and my best friends were parsis and sikhs you know so it's it's much beyond that and this bihar result is actually that because i think the bjp made a very strong statement mm. that this is the proposition take us or reject us and i think the dalai lama statement here is significant non political you know he and actually i i do think hinduism is the world's most tolerant religion mm. but this and by the way it's not about hinduism mm. only if there's an extremist in islam or in christianity i will be the first person the trinamool will be the first person not to associate there was this incident in mumbai about a, a christian group objecting about a play i thought that's preposterous why should they be objecting about the play mm. all right uh, so that aside this is going to be one of the issues that you raise in parliament uh, you also said that you're going to raise the bogey of what the prime minister has been uh, calling cooperative federalism because you believe that that exists only in theory not in practice uh, but why would you say that derek okay. that uh, you and i have argued mm. about the 14th mm. finance commission devolution mm. centrally sponsored scheme we did away with in the you. past as well but that was that was a conversation that we had 6 months ago okay. why do you intend raising this again i'll tell you why because the bjp talks about cooperative federalism and the trinamool talks about operative federalism and there's a big difference between the two you have removed and i'm giving you hard numbers here you have removed eight centrally sponsored scheme schemes you've just taken them off you have reduced 26 schemes well for example i'm not going to detail these schemes but sometimes when the state share was 10% and the center share was 90% mm. you've taken the state up to 30% you brought the center down to so you cannot be talking about you i gave you another example the prime minister is calling up the chief secretary mm. is that cooperative federalism mm. i can give you so many examples now for a, let me give you a little example about brgf backward region that is for backward districts it's not so much of bengal the national issues there's left wing extremism there so shreen advertising campaign time they talked about cooperative federalism they also talked about bringing back 15 lakhs mm. of black money and mm. so many other things mm. but it's not happening on the ground and listen the bjp knows and it's not about trinamool congress saying or mamta banerji mm. saying it's about every election after that what has changed between the lok sabha the delhi election the bihar election and in april or march the bengal election which mm. they will lose very badly mm. three elections two you lost one you will lose very badly mm. the message is you have you made an advertising mm. promise mm. you are great advertising but the product didn't deliver mm. so it's like exactly like that it's exactly like that and i i must congratulate the bjp they've come up with a brilliant communication campaign in 2014 but then like so many other brands yes. which you cover on your story board the brand doesn't deliver and eventually you have to look at the numbers you have to look at the sales figures I, i'm glad you're watching our shows derek but uh, uh, you know finally let me ask you this as far as uh, you know what we can expect in terms of achievables at the end of the winter session of parliament mm. uh, gst if it goes through doesn't go through we don't know yes, land, the answer i can tell you what is the answer gst the answer is as it so often is mm. the there are many players in the league mm. but if these two players keep doing match fixing uh. for so long this congress and bjp uh. you know they've been doing ping pong ping pong ping pong that's one <laughs> on land is very simple uh. we've been saying we draw the bill yeah right very nice and i'm also on the land uh, committee committee which Now, is why on I the 31st the yeah, on the 3rd we been meeting uh, but that's another long story 31st of august the prime minister makes a statement on man on man ki baat mm. saying that the ordinance will not be repromulgated right so very good we are also on board why doesn't the prime minister come next week mm. you know next week mm. and this is delhi airport has the panel asked for the prime minister to be uh, to make See, a statement in parliament second. the panel let me make it clear has the right to ask the prime minister mm. but he is the prime minister of india mm. let us give him all the respect which he commands the prime minister could come and say yes matter closed bill withdrawn over and out now if bjp mps are going to say what he said in man ki baat i didn't say mm. what he said in man ki baat don't take that seriously what he parliament is saying so nice come withdraw the bill trinamool will be the most happy people and so will mm. 
millions of farmers across the country because that bill is going nowhere. Mm. So do you see this being taken up at all in this session or do you believe no, that no. the effort will be uh, on bills like GST, bankruptcy code which needs to go through see, the local... there are embarrassing, well. when there is something very embarrassing, you don't like to discuss it. Mm. You feel shy to discuss mm. it. So the BJP have managed to do that because now the select committee has the date for the submitting of the report has been pushed back till the 22nd of November. Yeah. So nothing is happening before Christmas. Santa December, Claus, you Santa, mean. Uh, December, December you mean. 22nd of December, 20, yeah. So nothing will happen before Christmas. Santa Claus will come, but the bag of gifts will be empty. <laughs> Derek O'Brien, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks very much for joining us and taking us to what we can expect in Thank the winter you. session of Parliament. Thank always you. a pleasure. Thanks Thank very you. much indeed. With that, it's time for us to wrap up this special small party. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.